Welcome to Jebby TV. The ongoing National Identity Number Registration at the National Identity Management Commission's office in River State was disrupted on Tuesday as some gunmen stormed the commission's premises in Port Harcourt. Though the mission of the men numbering seven and suspected to be cultists was, was not known, eyewitnesses said they descended on one of the applicants, collected his phone, mobile phone, and collected money from others as some applicants fled. Our correspondent gathered that the armed men were invited by one of the young men in the queue after an argument with another NIN applicant, one of the witnesses who declined to be named said they were seven in all some of them were armed with guns so they beat an applicant up collected his phone and collected some money from other people some of the nine applicants said the police had not visited the area since the incident the river state nimc coordinator Am ammonia okay took uh, Ogene Karu confirmed the incident saying our lives are in danger. But spokesman of the state police command Namdi Omoni said the matter had not been reported to the police. Wow. Can you imagine? That is another issue. Now when people are on queue and they have waited for hours waiting to be attended to and they, they didn't get the attention they've been looking for. They couldn't register for what they came for. You know, what do you expect? You, you, you see angry, angry people on queue. You see people who can go any mile to deal with anybody. Can you imagine this now? So an hoodlum came to register for NIA. And because he has queued for so long, and they are not attending to him. He got into conflict with another NIN applicant, and you know the thing ex escalated. He had to invite his other hoodlum mates to come and disrupt the whole process. Can you imagine what kind of situation or condition have we found ourselves in this country? This would not have happened if some things has been done. I repeat, this would not have happened if some things have been put in place. Now, imagine people get to the NIN office and let's say in that office, there is like 15 computers, 15 personnel attending to people. And as they are coming, they are sitting down, you know, even if they have to queue, probably spending maximum of 10 or 20 minutes on queue. They, 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 they have been attended, attended to and after attending to them they get what they came from and they go within 30 to 45 minutes they are, they, they are done now will, will that not make sense compared to when someone has gotten to the office you know some people will even wake up 5 a.m. so that they can get to, to be on the, on, on the earlier stage of the queue so some would have got into the office 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. And from that 6 a.m. that they've been there, they will remain there till 4 p.m. in the evening. Yet, they have not been attended to. Now, just tell me how these kind of people will not be so angry and dangerous because they have wasted time, precious time. And these are people who should have gone about looking for you know on for their daily bread for their daily living they should have gone out to work and make some money but because federal government said you must do national identity you know uh, card registration they had to go but all to get there and just be they be frustrated this is very 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 bad now look at this that is coming to us now you know some hoodlums now they disrupt the process and they they cost they even they even robbed somebody you know collected his phone and money and since it has happened since uh witnessed on tuesday that this thing has happened 
the police hasn't yet reported to the scene and try to find out what is going on for real. What kind of situation is that? What kind of police, you know, force hears that something like that happens in a part of the country and doesn't do anything about it? That is another sign to show that, you know, things are not right in this country. Things are not just right. The police should always be at alert when they hear of anything, when they are given any reports of okay, something like this, like this, like this, like this has happened somewhere, and they are they are they are beckoned on, they are called on to come and rise, you know, and you know, see what to do to the situation. They should, you know, respond with immediate alacrity. But now we see a police force who will listen, who will hear about robbery in some in some part of the country or somewhere, and they would just not take do anything about it. They would take any action. What do you make of that? So, a lot of things is very wrong, but much importantly, this NIMC reputation of a thing, federal government should do what they have to do. These guys have striked like once or twice now this year, asking for their rights. And that those are the workers, the NMC workers. Why? Well, number one is that they are underpaid. Number two, they are not given good work, working condition. Their offices are bad. Number three, they are no good equipment to work with. Number four, maintenance of their equipment is not there at all. It is normal that when you are using some equipment for over a time, some time, you will need to maintain it, okay? Buy some one or buy one, one or two things to furnish or to do the maintenance or probably repair if need be. So when any form of damage occurs and there is need to repair in the office, the government is not concerned. The government is not concerned. And that is really, 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 really bad because how will these people be encouraged to work when it is their salaries that's underpaid salaries they will be spending a gain on office management office maintenance it is very wrong very 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 wrong so federal government should do what they have to do ensure that these people are given the necessary equipment necessary maintenance give them every allowance that they deserve pay their salary as at when due do not remove a couple from their salary and then ensure that they work in a good condition give them a good office and then let more hands be employed okay to work in each offices so that people that are trooping in we have you know there will be personnel that we attend to them and they will get what they wanted to have in no time so we beckon on the federal government please see to this thank you let us know your thoughts in the comment box there listener bye for now